Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Steve Norman reporting. Later today, Donald Trump will be inaugurated as the 45th President of the United States when he takes the oath of office. That'll be on the steps of the U.S. Capitol here in Washington. VOA National Correspondent Jim Malone has our report. Washington is a city in transition as the Barack Obama era draws to a close and the Donald Trump era is set to begin. Vice President-elect Mike Pence says the new administration is eager to get started. Uh, We are all uh, ready to go to work. In fact, we can't wait to get to work. Trump is expected to focus on domestic policy in his first few months, especially job creation and cutting taxes. Jim Malone, Washington. Outgoing U.S. Defense Chief Ash Carter says U.S. airstrikes have killed several dozen Islamic State fighters in two military camps about 45 kilometers southwest of the city of Sirte in Libya. And they're a reminder to ISIL and to many others that while the world doesn't rest from the transition here in Washington, neither does the Department of Defense. Strikes were authorized by President Obama in what likely was the last military operation to be approved by the outgoing U.S. leader. Secretary Carter said the attack was in conjunction with Libya's U.N.-backed government of national accord. Right up until the end, al-Qaeda founder Osama bin Laden remained focused on striking the U.S., its Western allies, and governments seen as U.S. proxies as he was leery of distractions that would weaken the terror group's resolve. Letters written by bin Laden were among almost 50 declassified Gopkin ducks released by the U.S. Intelligence Committee. Those documents were part of material confiscated during the U.S. military raid on bin Laden's compound in Pakistan in 2011. Bin Laden was captured and killed during that raid. The 41st U.S. President of the United States, George H.W. Bush, and his wife Barbara Bush are on an upswing as they continue to receive treatment for illnesses. Bush family spokesman Jim McGrath says President Bush remains in intensive care in a Houston, Texas hospital being treated for pneumonia. He also says that First Lady, the former First Lady Barbara Bush, is being treated for bronchitis, same hospital. McGrath was asked by reporters if President Bush might be watching the Donald Trump inauguration today. I know if he's able to, he will. Um, I know right now they've uh, they've got him on some medicines that make him kind of sleepy. Uh, but I, I know he'll try to take in the festivities. As I think it's been widely reported by now that President Bush sent put President-elect Trump a letter last week indicating that he was not going to be able to attend because of age and mobility issues. But he certainly wishes our incoming president well he, because the, the incoming president, the new president's success is our country's success. And where that's concerned, President Bush doesn't care about party affiliation or anything else. You're our president and we're behind you. President Bush's son, the 43rd U.S. president, George W. Bush, will be attending the inauguration along with several previous presidents. That's the latest world news from VOA.